Well, we're fucking here. We're here. Joe, Joe, Joe. Little Joe. Some people call you Little Joe. You hear about that? Uh, yeah, who calls me Little Joe? Dude, everyone's been talking about it. Yeah, everybody. Everyone's been saying... Yeah, Little Joe. Little Joe's at it again. Yeah, when are you getting, when are you getting Little Joe back on the podcast? That's actually That's what exactly what saying. people have been... In our comments, yeah. people have been screaming that in the comments. They've been saying, we gotta get that little sweet Joe back on the pod yeah we really loved him we really loved how much he yelled we loved how angry he was yeah some say some say the best guest uh you know i mean he certainly made us a lot of money last night <laughs> i'll say that much <laughs> we were considering having you back on the pod and we were kind of trying to figure out you know i feel like we we used up a lot of your anger last time yeah I'm pretty mellowed out this time um so we were figuring out how do we charge you back up like a duracell battery yeah. How do we get you charged back up to ready to put mm -hmm. you back out in the world and yeah. reset you for the new year? Because it's coming. Yeah. You know, Joe, we decided we're going to, we sent our chair about, and we're going to be looking at some assholes today. And we thought, who who else could talk about assholes on a podcast with two assholes than bringing, you know, TikTok's biggest asshole on the podcast? Uh <laughs> so today, Joe, we're doing a little bit of a combo guest episode, and you're going to be joining us here. Yeah. To be doing a little bit of am I the asshole? Are you ready and I'm rocking? ready. I'm ready. Fuck yeah. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. All right, how how are we reviewing this? I'm just going to be giving my take on whether or not I think somebody's the asshole. Well, I suppose it just depends on what your personal, you know, this really just a, we're depending on you being a virtuous person, I think. Yeah, a virtuous person. So you want my take here? I'm taking a moral theory class. Oh, wait, this is perfect because you're a, you're a philosophy major. Philosophy major. Yeah. Reading oh, uh, Nietzsche, my. John Dewey. Yeah. Goodness, okay. Ted, this is this is awesome. Yeah, I, is I think that, I think this is honestly more perfect than we thought it was going to be. We just thought you were going to fucking well, we just thought you were going to yell like you do on your little TikTok oh, yeah. channel. Well, you know, your little TikTok. Oh, my little TikTok channel. Mm -hmm. Your yeah, little my, TikTok my page. Little, my little TikTok page. Yeah, yeah your page. little. How yeah. many millions of followers on that little thing? Twenty million, something. I don't know. 20. 20 million 20 20 well tiktok tiktok it's different i feel like yeah, a lot of inactive followers number yeah, it's one rubles over there yeah, rubles yeah, to dollars. yeah russian ruble mm. russian ruble <laughs> for one follower versus u.s dollar youtube subscriber yeah well that's still a lot yeah that's still a lot gives you some authority about you know what we're going to talk about today on whether mm -hmm. or not somebody's an asshole. Yeah, I feel like that yeah. has nothing to do with morals, though. Bigger like, number, or, or better virtue. person, Joe. Do you feel like you have solid morals? Now, yeah. How would you answer the trolley question? Oh, the trolley question on whether or not I would pull it. Uh, the yeah. trolley question varies depending on whether oh, or not. Oh shit! I forgot. I just asked a trolley question to the. Th I I forgot almost immediately. You're a philosophy major, and I was like, damn, yeah. he's definitely had this conversation like seventy times. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the trolley question really varies because it's like. If it's one versus five people and it's going towards five, I'm going to pull it and save one, right? But if that one person is somebody I know... Wait, 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 wait. That changes it. Wait, if wait. The trolley question it, says that if, there, if there's a you train just said going towards... If it's going towards five, you'd pull it and save one? I know. I'd pull it and it'd kill one and I'd save four. Oh, That's okay. what I meant. Right? I was about to say... Profit, I was about to say, profit, profit save four. That's more utilitarianism. Anyways, it varies. I If it's just I don't know any of them, yeah, I'm pulling the lever. But if it's five people versus like my mother, yeah, it's tough. Ah, yeah, that's tough. I don't know, ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, ah, I mean, at the end I of the day, I had a Joe, slow, rea I had a slow reaction ah, time on that you know. one. I was a little tired okay. that day. How about this? How about this? Your mother, and then five of your greatest fans. Five of my greatest fans. Yeah, your greatest, your top gifters on on Twitch. Oh, top gifters. Mm. I'm I'm still not I'm still not pulling the lever. Damn, you hear that? It's your mother. You guys watching out here? Joe person. doesn't give a shit oh, about yeah, you. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's flip this. What's <laughs> 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 the person that? That's the reason I exist. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I mean, hurt them. Yeah. 
Wh- whichever one you chose, I was just going to flip it the other way and just be oh, like, yeah, oh, you, oh, oh, so you hate your mom. So you hate your mom. <laughs> um, but we sent we sent Tucker out. Also, welcome again to the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. We got Joe Bartolozzi on, the, uh, the shining, shining boy from New Jersey with a big-ass fucking lava lamp in the background. Audio listeners love you to death. $200 lava lamp. $200? You didn't need to flex takes, on us. I mean, you, hours, you didn't need to tell us how much money you're making. It's been on. Been on. <laughs> For been uh, on. Hours. The whole time? Jesus yeah, you Christ. see how it's just frozen? Dude, It's it, it It takes forever to start, you know, lava lamping. This dude's such an asshole that he doesn't even fucking stand his cans up upright in his fridge. Yeah, he's no, just he's like, yeah, let me lay, lay, lay him oh, down okay. sideways. Let me lay these fucking things down sideways. Not, oh. oh I, yeah, I feel Audio dumb Audio listeners now. love you to death. They're tall boys. Yeah, I feel dumb now. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Tall boys. Can't stand them. I'll just shut up. I'll just shut up. Yeah, just yeah. Shut up. You didn't think. Oh, you thought I was you didn't just even doing introduce that to the podcast. You weren't even like, we're here, we're here real schlatt, too. So. Me, I, I'm, I didn't introduce you as being. A, <laughs> when have we ever done that? When have we ever been like? And also, Schlatt is here. He is present, <laughs> dude. Are you just, just drinking hard liquor right now? He's, no. Well, I'll tell you what he's specifically doing. He's downing fucking peppermint schnapps right now. Jesus, how many bottles of that do you have in the bag? Okay. <laughs> you in the festive mood? He clearly is. Clearly he is. He is downing schnapps right now. Wow. Well, it's so... Can we we do the asshole shit? What are you you talking... We all stopped because you started singing to yourself and then you're like trying to move it along. What are you talking about? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Okay. Well, we sent Tucker off. And you guys know the drill. We sent Tucker off into into the bowels of the internet, the inner layers... And we had him looking for some assholes. And he's got a whole selection. How many assholes do you have for us, Tucker? Um, Like around 10, I think. 10 assholes. Have you ever seen that many <laughs> assholes lined up next to each other in your life, Joe? Um, What type of asshole? Wow. Wow. You know this is a family podcast. This is a PG <laughs> podcast, Joe. And you're coming oh, in here talking he was about just, bear he was assholes. Just, he was just full whipping peppermint schnapps. <laughs> I was going to say, I've family. seen more assholes on the r slash femboys subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's just water, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's oh. just water, and his cup is, and the cup that he's drunk, Jesus Christ. And the cup that, the, the, caffeine think that's water. and alcohol, it cannot be a good combination, but all right. The way that he's drinking <laughs> so little of it, I don't think that it's water. Oh, you know, he's just slow. He's nursing. He's just oh, a, he's nursing he's a slow drinker. But we're just gonna we're gonna jump into it, Joe. You're a philosophy right. major. You're the guy. We're you're gonna have to give us some help here because some takes. If you can't tell, the general stance on this podcast is generally pretty morally gray. We're we're we're, we're gray we are area. breaking even over here. The in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the first asshole that you you, you have here? Right, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Shalai, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay. Here's the title. Am I the asshole for correcting someone at dinner? Okay, here's the story. I went on a double date with my sister, Jamie, 24, and her new boyfriend, Paul, 25-ish. We went to an Italian place. Paul goes on about how the word, the word for red in Italian is marinara, and the word for white is Alfredo. So that's how he remember this. That's how he remembers the sauces' names. I told Paul I took Italian in high school, and it's Rosso and Bianco. He even says so on the wine menu. What? Paul started yelling at me and calling me wrong. Those are the names for wines, not colors. My husband showed him on Google the translation for red and white. Paul told my sister he was leaving and called us stupid assholes and how wrong we were. Paul and my sister left without paying their bill or even getting some food. Wow. Mm. When we asked the server, he said the drinks are no problem and not to worry about it. My sister texted me later and said, why do I think I always have to be right and I embarrass Paul? And it was an it, it was immature of my husband. She said we didn't have to argue with him over something so silly. She called my husband and I bullied him. She <laughs> told me that I don't have to say to people when they are wrong and embarrass them in public like that. Am I the asshole? Dude, no, dude. What? I would say no. I mean, like, just is there a need to correct them about the red and white? 
no, but if I was them, I would say I, I would correct them. Yeah, yeah. I feel but like in that's a, a normal manner, conversation. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's not actually that's actually, you know, you're just yeah, dead I suppose wrong it on depends that one. on like how the how they introduced how it. They if they said if, it. yeah. If they were like if they were like <laughs> well, you stupid little fucker. It's actually you're dead wrong. And uh here's the actual names of it. I took Italian in college. Like yeah. if they came at it from the fucking like well, actually, I took I fully can took Italian in college, and you're fully can wrong. Like I feel like that would be that be I, a I, that would make them the initial asshole. But the reaction the guy had to effectively lose his shit, leave, not pay the bill, yeah, and then call everybody stupid after he was corrected on Google. That's a, that's a rough argument. I don't know if y'all have ever had an argument with somebody where you're like, I'm dead right. Then they Google it, and you're wrong. Yeah. And then you That's try to a, it's back an step. You're like, why, why are we even arguing right now? You know, it's, it doesn't even matter. Why? <laughs> yeah. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, shifting, <laughs> shifting to Google the, it. to the, the yeah. why, why are we even fucking talking about this? Why are we even, even here right now? You know, like, what's the <laughs> this meaning? This is of all what? so silly. Like, why can't we just yeah. say that everyone wins? Yeah. Why? Why can't we just like hold hands, sing kumbaya? You know, like it's at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would say I would say they're not the asshole for saying that. Sometimes, guys, I think um, I think it's better. Oh, my, and this might be a crazy thing to say, but, um, you know, with this whole red, white, Italian bullshit. Yeah. I think that it's it's better sometimes if we let people live in their mystical fucking fairy land, you know? <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? I mean, people people have wrong opinions all the time. It's not an opinion, right? They're just wrong. Well, it's a worldview. <laughs> they're right? stating no because it's they're stating worldview. no. They're stating a fact yeah. that Alfredo fact. means white okay. in Italian. Okay. Yeah, fact. this is, and it I feel like this is akin to like putting a you know you got to put them out of their misery before it gets too far. Like if this guy goes to Italy and he starts pulling that out and he's like I and he's like he he's he's like somebody asks him what color something is and it's red and he says it's marinara. That's he's gonna get killed. They're gonna yeah. You they might execute how the Italians him. act over yeah. there. They're fucking vicious, man. They will kill you. They kill him because he's an American, not because I mean they hate us. Well, I don't America. think him calling red marinara would do him any it's, any justice. Yeah, 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 it's live not gonna help we, him out. Listen, I think we let people live with their little allegory of the cave. How about that? You know, we we show them the, the smoke signals. You God, but that. that's, that's, that's about, about, yeah, I know the allegory of the cave. It's no. so, You've been learning about that Plato yeah, shit back in yeah, the back Plato in shit. It's 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 just a different scenario. It's not a <laughs> it's not a philosophy on life or a political that's their opinion. That's worldview, right? It's not and a worldview. It's, it's a Look, disagreement of definitions. People, we can let people live in their little fantasy land. We have up fifty percent of them in land. this country living but, in. But then at that point, I could just walk around and start saying false definitions of any term. And you could just be like, oh, well, you know, that's that's what he wants to do. Yeah, it is pretty it's not bold an to say that marinara yeah. is a worldview. I don't that, know if yeah. marinara is his... marinara well, being the word the the word red is not a yeah, world. Let's make a view. whole religion about this. Why don't yeah, we? Yeah, you're just wrong. Listen, I've wingmaned for tons of my dudes. Yeah, what does that mean? Years. Okay, shut up, man. <laughs> Let me finish a okay. goddamn thought. Okay. Okay, you know you're at a bar and your dude's like, "Hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get something going." And you're like, "Okay, I got you, I got you." All of a sudden, you know, you're you're helping this person get fucking laid. Yeah. What does this have to do with marinara and red? It sounds like it sounds like this guy, this whatever his dude that he's wingman and has gone up to someone uh, and said the red said, marinara thing. Hey, you know that marinara is red in Italian. Look, my point is that when you're on a date with someone, your job is to hype them up, is to make them look good in front of people. But she's not a wingman. Even if you're on the opposite side of the table, Joe. I mean, what is what? Is, where? Why are we putting people down? You know, I'm putting people down. But like, wouldn't it? But like, what's like, ah, God, like, what's something you hold dear to your heart? Probably my cats. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What if you were at a restaurant and somebody just started rambling about how, like, a rambling about your cat, right? Yeah. And they were just wrong. Well, people, Would you tell I mean, them? people say wrong things about me all the time on the internet. But that's not a definition. It's, it's like people are giving a take about you that's incorrect versus mm. 
saying like that's like it's be it's like saying like a school bus I isn't yellow. But how do we? Kn you know what? No, I'm not even getting. <laughs> it's like I'm saying even, a school no, 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 bus. Who's the? Who do you think the asshole is? I'm like if I'm like sitting there and I'm having a conversation at dinner and I'm like, uh, you know, Teslas run on gas. Are you <laughs> well, gonna correct, how do you think they power the? Me? How you do you think they power me? the fucking chargers, Joe? Not gas. It all comes back to it fucking bullshit, back, yeah. dude. It's turtles all the way down. See, but that's a take. Turtles? See, that's it. That's it. It's that, turtles. Yeah. They're turtles. powering this shit on turtles. Joe, ask Joe to tell you about the fucking turtles. Joe, huh? Joe, what do you know about the turtles? Uh, I don't know definitively what Schlatt's talking about turtles, <laughs> but I do know of a theory that states that the earth is flat and it sits on the back of a turtle. I and don't know who's sitting on the back yes, of another the turtle. Back of another turtle's turtles all the way down. Yes. All the way down. Yeah, that's a case theory. in point. You are the asshole. Next fucking one. Okay. All right. Do you want a top comment first? No. Yeah. Let's hear the we top. We usually comment. do the top comment. Okay. <laughs> top comment is not the asshole. Your sister should be taking Paul's reaction as a huge marinara flag. Fuck this bullshit. That's a good pun. <laughs> wow. Okay. Did you ever? Uh, are you the guy from this post? No, man. No. <laughs> it feels like he is. Feels like he <laughs> he recently like we we look at Schlatt real close. We zoom in on his mouth. He's got some marinara coming out on one side, some Alfredo coming out the other. <laughs> no, man. No. Hell yeah! All right. Well, let's do, let's do the next one. Okay. Next one's title is. Am I the asshole for inviting my husband's potential daughter and her mother to our daughter's birthday party? Here's the what? story. My Wait, husband can, may... Sorry, can I get that one yeah, more can time? You can you repeat yeah, that title? Can I get that one more time, man? Potential daughter? Can I get my brother's sister's mother's brother's sister f killed my brother's sister's mother's dad? Here's the, here's the title. Am I the asshole for inviting my husband's potential daughter and her mother to our daughter's birthday party? Fuck, that's a that's a mouthful. Oh, I think man. they mean just their husband's daughter and mother. But potential. Potential meaning if they're not married yet, they would end up becoming the mother-in-law. Oh, it will Genevieve. become more clear. Yeah. I, I, okay. okay. Here's the story. My husband may or may not have a daughter with a woman, Charlotte, he slept with while we were separated. Dude, I like Ooh. how she started with may or may not. Ah. Like, things are still gray, like, even as they're talking about it. They need to go on, uh, on Maury. He's never, he's never taken a paternity test, doesn't acknowledge her, and has never tried to meet her, but Charlotte insists he's the only possible father. We had a birthday party for our daughter last weekend, and I decided to invite Charlotte and her daughter. The reason I did is because if she is my husband's child, I would like my children to know their sibling. I never told my husband I was going to, as I knew he would make sure they didn't come. My husband's family saw Charlotte first and assumed she was crashing the party and tried to get rid of her before we saw her. None of them believed her when she told them I had invited them. They were all upset when I confirmed it, when I confirmed I had and that I wanted Charlotte and her daughter to stay. I've never seen my husband so angry and I've never found him scary until he saw Charlotte. He said something to Charlotte that made her immediately leave and then asked me to speak to him away from our guests so that he could confront me about inviting her. We ended up arguing because he was upset I had invited her in the first place and I was upset he made them leave. Am I the asshole? I'm going to say yes for the sole reason that it's not her party. Why is she choosing who gets invited? If it was her party, she can choose whether or not she thinks they should be invited. But that'd Which be party like is this? the daughter, the the confirmed daughter of the mother confirmed and the husband. Daughter. <laughs> yeah, the confirmed daughter, not the questionable whether or not they're related, but likely, likely so. Mm, yeah. Right. Mm. And also, if yeah. if. She shows up and people immediately think that she's probably crashing. What does that say about? I feel like there's some missing information here on like on their people's opinions, they, how they these. act. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they're like showing up and everyone's like, oh, oh, here, here we go. Like, You're people will just the party. assume that about yeah. someone from the get go. Like, oh, there sounds like there's like some sh there, there's some other drama. Yeah. They've yeah. met them or they know about them. It's not just like oh, we're showing up.
I feel like maybe it's a little bit of an asshole thing here. It seems like there's some there's some deeper shit here that was not considered. The husband's a bit of an asshole for not getting the paternal like the paternity test and all that stuff. But I would say that just off face value, you invited somebody to someone else's birthday party. Like regardless of you being the mother, like that'd be like Schlatt having a birthday party inviting me. And I just bring somebody that I think is his half brother. Yeah, I don't have a half brother. Yeah, yeah, I, no, you don't know. Is... I mean, you don't know. I mean, well, like, what if true. I just bring somebody <laughs> yeah. that's like, hey, this is your half brother? That'd be I crazy. Think, yeah, this, could, this may or may not be. <laughs> <laughs> this person is. Uh, here's here's your half brother. Maybe they're in flux. I just imagine sitting the daughter down and being like, hey, listen, your dad may or may not have another one of you <laughs> and would you would you like them would you like to meet them on your birthday yeah in front of all <laughs> of your friends that's like and make it really such awkward a fucking weird scenario i would not want to be put in that scenario i wouldn't want to meet them right there and then i feel like that's a terrible place to meet somebody that might be your oh, yeah have they, had they not met before no that i think that's is that am i wrong in saying that's what they were saying is like they wanted I, them to meet I think you're right. Oh, that's a weird time to meet, yeah, first man. first time to meet someone. Happy birthday. I also have a birthday due to our dad, maybe. No, I don't think she's the asshole. Why? What do we, what is the, what's the core of it's a fucking kid. Who the fuck cares? It's not going to remember it anyways. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You don't know How? if they're like 5, 15, 20. Shut you up, like, Joe. Like, <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> what? I feel like you were agreeing with us, and then out of nowhere, you're like, yeah, out of nowhere, yeah, you no, just I, I don't sides. think she's the asshole. What if your kid's like, I only want to eat pizza the rest of my life? You're gonna let it do that? That is so uh, like your your analogies are <laughs> oh for two right now. They are. They are, that was a pretty crazy analogy. That hey, did. if I go one for three, I'm still in the Hall of Fame. There you go. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, I'd say I'd say she's the asshole on that one. What does the yeah. court of public opinion say, Tucker? Top comment is, I pulled the pin on a live grenade and threw it into the middle of a family gathering. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I, I well, think in that that's, scenario, I yeah, of course he's fair, the asshole. You can't do yeah. that with a grenade. Those are bombs that you can yeah. throw. You're going to kill people. Is that the third one? Yeah, that's no, that's totally the third one. Asshole, Tucker man. just read I'll, the third one. I'll agree one. with the guys on this one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, so that's like the top comment where someone where someone was just, like, thin. Yeah, it's just being sarcastic." Yeah, because they're obviously the asshole. Well, do you want to talk about this with me, Tucker? What? <laughs> Sorry, man. We'll go to the next one. We'll go to the next one. I'm, not, okay. I'm trying not to. Get are you saying that Tuck- angry today? Are you saying that Tucker's your half brother? No. If I would, I would love him, but uh-huh. th- it may or may not be the case. I'd love I Tucker like if he was my half brother. The possibility of love from Schlatt is good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Christmas miracle. You'd be an right heir to a <laughs> magnificent fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, by being his half brother? Well, you guys, yeah, yeah Tucker's older than you. <laughs> but if we had the same dad. Yeah, Schlatt yeah, will die, die first because of I'll all totally that. Because die all, die. all the schnapps. It's going to be he on his obituary, too. It's going to be, he died of a peppermint schnapps overdose. Not even an I'm alcohol gonna go overdose, a, a peppermint go on a little, schnapps overdose. <laughs> I'm going to go on a little joyride in my 91 Miata later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take on the streets. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, yeah, it seems like pretty clearly across the board, asshole, and then Schlatt dies from peppermint schnapps. But you wouldn't be an asshole for doing that. You're just living your truth, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that's what I want to do, I should be able to do it. Yeah, you yeah. should. That's why we live in this country. Joe, you got a problem with peppermint schnapps? You seem like you're kind of making oh, a No, if Sly wants to drink peppermint schnapps, drive the wrong way down a one-way, going 85, you know, that's that's his decision. Yeah. <laughs> a little stick shift. Man, it seems like he may have gone a little too far too fast. Anyways, yeah. Tucker, you want to read the next one, Tucker? Yeah, you want to read the next one? 
Sure. The next one. Here we go. Title. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter that the special needs consideration for exams are unnecessary? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that, yeah. This, is that it? No, no. Here's the story. Yeah, uh, but I'm already answering. Yeah. I'm my, feeling no on this one. <laughs> I'm feeling no. Here we go. My <laughs> fifth my fifteen year old daughter has mild ASD, which is what you would call Asperger's back then, and suspected ADHD. Mm. She asked me why I didn't tell the school about it, and I bluntly told her that it is unnecessary to do so as she can pass off as normal. And I don't wow. want her to get labeled when she doesn't need to. Uh-oh. She then told me that special needs students get extra time for their exams, which is appealing to her. I said that it's actually not a good thing because nobody would give the special needs kids special considerations in their careers. She said that the extra time is for a fair chance to get into ideal courses in university, but I think they should compete in the same conditions as others to get into whatever course that would, they would truly be able to do so. Am I the asshole? Yeah, yes. dude. Yeah. Without a fucking doubt. Because the the moms or whoever's asking if they're the asshole is acting as if, like, if this child takes, uh, a, like, a, a, an exam to, wait, what, show that they have special needs? What, what are they even saying? They're denying. Yeah, it, they don't want to like tell the school they have special needs. Yeah, it's like if they're taking a math test in school, they get like 20 minutes. Yeah, I had friends in high school that would get another 30 minutes on a final exam or something like that. I don't think, I I think they're an asshole for not allowing their child to have that time. Yeah, this is like crazy. Because like the mom is like basically being like, I decide whether or not you, like it's like she's making, she's casting her own opinion without ever experiencing what this person is. She's effectively hindering a helpful advantage that her kid could have to even the playing field because of her disabilities yeah i used to when i was in high school i I would i hadn't so when i said iep that's called a that's called a individualized education program which is like if you have some like you know any any, you know any of the any little neurodivergent little flavors under the sun you know, you can get stuff like extra time or you get to take a test in another room or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I had that in high school and that was very, very helpful for me because I was not doing well. Um, so I think that that's, that is huge asshole shit. Like that's so fucked to not even let them know that you have it like that. It's like, I don't want people to even know. I want to hide you away yeah. in a little, in no, a little but see, cave. That's what, they were acting as if they told the school then their kid would be like shoved into a different classroom in like the janitor's closet and like taught alone or something like no they're just trying to get extra time for a test like that's not an obscene ask listen to these fucking liberals go tucker oh you're the asshole uh, you're the asshole every single fucking person on this on this wait why am i getting roped into this (laughs) (laughs) that's just like dragging me in today I can't even. I yeah, can't so even. Was like, uh, Tucker, come here, come here. Puts his arm around him. Hey, these guys are fucking pieces of shit, aren't they? <laughs> no, nah, real talk. I can't even disagree with this for content. Um, <laughs> I mean, if there's anything I've learned, if someone gives you a handout, you fucking take it, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, no matter what. It's yes. like, hey, you want a you want a speed boost? Hey, you want you want some? You're playing a game of zombies. Hey, you want some fucking quick revive? <laughs> You want a you, max ammo? Hey, you want <laughs> yeah. some juggernaut for free? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Cha-ching. Max you ammo. Want, you, want, you want one of... Carpenter! <laughs> 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 yes, I'm fucking taking that. Yes, I'm fucking running straight into that glowing orb that I don't know what it is. Thank you. It's got a hammer on it. Yeah, fucking take that shit. Carpenter. <laughs> Yeah, that's 400 points right there, isn't it? That's yeah. four. Yeah, it's 400. Yeah. But then make sure you, you know, if, if you're near one of the open windows, you repair you that first. And yeah, then a little you, 10, little 10 point. Yeah, bomb. it's like, yeah, it's like with a little fucking max ammo, you know, everyone, you, you shout out into the comms, everyone reload, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Take a handout. I can't. I even, feel like I that can, was the easiest one. Yeah. yeah, that one was like that one yeah, was like pretty straightforward. Well, because it's title. like the mom is like essentially being ableist. Well, being ableist and also just like for no reason, like like literally because, just well, sitting she, there. <laughs> it was honestly kind of crazy the way it was phrased too, where she, where it was like, 
she wants. Well, is this written from the perspective of the mom or the child? The mom. The mom. The, well, oh, yeah. I think it's the parent. I don't I know if the we parents know it's mom writing. or dad. It felt. It felt it like. It does mom feel for like a mom, reason. doesn't it? Everybody. Something about it felt like a mom, but I. <laughs> I just don't think a dad would. I don't think the dad would post. Am I the asshole here? Ted's like, yeah. It sounds like a. <laughs> that sounds like a woman thing to do. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it just kind of seemed like a kind of, you know, this just seems like, oh, this seems like a girl problem is really what it yeah. is at the end totally. of the day. Um, so. Yeah, um, but like she was like, she was saying like she wants her, she wants her to succeed at the same level. Like it's a, like she essentially wants her child not to have a disability. Well, because she was what, saying in the job from, field, they're not panning towards people with special needs, but at the same time, they're not looking like if you get this extra test time, which you can also have in college, yeah, by you're the also way. not like taking people... tests and in, in fucking. <laughs> yeah, you're not ta you're not taking tests. You're just doing a base job that you've prepared for yeah. through years of work, and then like even in college, they'll have extra test time and stuff for people that need it, and then that helps you get your first job because if that yeah. extra test time is going to help you get better grades, make you look better in better job applications, job areas. Yeah, this mom's a fucking dunce, dude. I, yeah, I feel like it's just a stupid decision not let's, even like let's kill this mom dude because <laughs> it is a mom. kid would be better off is it a mom no i we don't know <laughs> oh well it is a mom we've mom. all just decided it's a mom. <laughs> yeah it is a mom it's a mom we gotta well, kill I feel this like moms mom. have usually more on hands work with their kids schooling at least yeah. in the people that Unless i this know is like rather a than fucking the dad. single dad and we've just made yeah, some maybe. crazy assumptions here <laughs> Yeah. I feel like if it's a single dad, though, they're not going to they're not going to in, in some ways. This could also be a dad because, you know, this could be a dad, but he and he's coming from bootstraps angle. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. Well, maybe this is more information there. I went to look at their Reddit account and it's been suspended. So oh. mom or that's dad, a kind of dad thing to do, though. Yeah, get that's, that's on Reddit. Not leaning towards a dad yeah. thing. It's probably just like a racial slur too. Yeah. yeah, he's been lurking for years with something finally set him off. Yeah, maybe it's a dad pretending to be a mom. Maybe a little bit of Mrs. Doubtfire. What does the top movie. comments say? The top comments long, but their final message was, do better for your kid, please. You're the asshole. Boom. Yeah. Mic drop right yeah. there. Yeah, a lot of these ones that are pretty cut and dry um, are like, I feel like the, the, the responses are so clear cut where they're just like, fuck. They're just like, fuck you, man. Get yeah. out of here. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't even I couldn't even play devil's advocate on that one. I didn't even know how to do it. Take handouts. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. Well, Ted comes to me and he's like, hey, you want to. Hey, you want to. I don't know. You want this free heroin? <laughs> like, you want this free yeah, heroin? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Yes, Ted. Yes, of course I will. Take Might that. Might come in handy later. Thank you. <laughs> it, w it, could. it could. Free, later on your quest. Free, free crack pellet? <laughs> <laughs> crack pellet? Yeah, this guy walked up to me. He said, you know, a little crack pellet. A little wall. <laughs> They'll offer you for free crack on the side of the, the and side of the street. And actually the side yeah. of a, their side is an airsoft keep, pistol. You start shooting. You go to the playground and start shooting at kids. Yeah. Ooh, it gets lodged in there. Start shoving them in Halloween candy. Mm hmm. All of mm -hmm. a sudden, the kids are just, all the kids at the playground are just like. Stuck. <laughs> you know how they, you know, you ever walk through Philadelphia? You start Anyways. playing the mannequin challenge. <laughs> 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 all right, Tucker, what's the, uh, what's the next one we got here? All right, here's the title. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend I hate the decor she bought? Oh. Hmm. This ain't looking yes. good for you. Uh, no, did she no, ask? We not. need to know. We need to know. I'm going to say this before we even start reading. I think he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's right. I think he's what gonna find, yeah. I think he's right. <laughs> I think the man's right here. Oh, okay. really? Oh. Here we go. Here's the story. Let's hear it. For context, my girlfriend has got fantastic taste in decor and has been responsible for the majority of our house looking great. Can I just say something I thought would have been funny if it happened, but it didn't? Is I thought I like maybe 75% of my being thought that it was going to just be at the beginning. He was going to be like, for context, my girlfriend has fantastic tits. And then he continues <laughs> oh, on with the story. <laughs> but he didn't. 
But I, that's my headcanon that that's what that guy was going to start is Red Post with. Sorry, continue, Tucker. All right. We have a 200-year-old house, and my girlfriend is an antique dealer. What? So through her, I've developed a love of old furniture, and most of our things are antiques. Oh. The past two days, she's been on a deep cleaning house organization spree. My parents are visiting down for the festive period, and I'm stuck working 60 hours a week. So unfortunately, the cleaning has fallen on her. Damn, dude, 60 hours. Yesterday, she hired a rug doctor and did a deep clean of all the carpets in the house, rearranged some furniture, and said she's going to finally sort out bits that were lacking. Some rugs, lampshades, log baskets, etc. Today, she decided to go to HomeSense, which is like TJ Maxx, and buys all of these things. I come home, and she's so excited to show me. I smile, and I say that I like them, but I just don't. She's tried to get me things that look old to fit in with the rest, but I just can't get past the fact that they're from HomeSense. Eventually, we are sat down and I say, I really don't like the bits. She replies, the homeware bits I bought today? And I say, yes. She looks so hurt and I could see she was starting to cry, saying that she couldn't get any antique versions of what she needed for the house so quickly and that she tried really hard to get the house looking lovely ahead of the festive season. She said, I'm ungrateful, but I maintain I must be able to be honest without risking upsetting her. Am I the asshole? Mm, I'm going to go now. No. I'm going to go now. Mm, no. I'm going to go now. I, I, I feel he like... He should be able to be honest. I, he should be able to be honest. But I think he should have said it off rip. I think it, the second he walked in, saw them, he should have been like, ah, don't like him. <laughs> but he yeah. dragged it on, and that yeah. made it worse because he faked liking it. And he then that probably like, while receipt was in hand, while they're still yeah. in the bags, he should have been like, ah, hey, these are kind of trash. Gonna, you ain't putting yeah. those on my shelf. Yeah, I don't think it makes him ungrateful. I think that's a poor word to use. But I will say, you got a house, you got you're inhabiting with someone else. What are you gonna fucking send them off to fucking home goods? They're doing all the work to make the house. Like, yeah, yeah but they're also I don't know. You pick, get it, go on weeks. a weekend or something. That seems like you know, if you really care about how the house looks, you'd go. Yeah, but he is working sixty hours a week. Yeah, but I work yeah. sixty hours a week, and I can still fucking go places. You work sixty ah, hours work 60, a week. Can we get? Sometimes. Can we get a? Can we get a? Maybe. It's a sometimes. list of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. can I get a, can I get some, hours can I get some time? So, you okay. said maybe so, eighty time cards. Do you think you're so, working double yeah, full time shifts? So, so sometimes, like yeah. before we filmed this podcast, I was playing Lethal Company with some buddies. Oh yeah, but it was work because I was recording it. Yeah. Um. Uh huh. And I couldn't go to Home Goods then, so like. But like you were, you, you, were you recorded it and you plan on posting it. Yeah, yeah. But like, okay, what else? You know, you probably recorded Lethal Company for what? Maybe hour and a half? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Yeah, okay. a solid two. Right, two out of yeah. the 80. So 140 if done. Well, I mean, this is another hour out of the 80. Yeah. So okay. three. And then I had a 30-minute meeting before that. Okay, so right, three and Three and a half, and a half hours in, in a day. And then I jerked off before that. That's, that's, that's not count. work. Six to that's six not three. work. That's, that's play. Not work. But that you can write that off because I took some bulge pictures on Snapchat. So yeah. we'll get some snap crystals for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's add it. Okay. Four hours. Fine. Four hours. Four hours. So four times seven. What's that, Schlein? 28. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think that's I part. That's a part time <laughs> job. You said you work double full times. I don't think I work 80 hours a week. Uh. Um, 60 hours a week could realistically be I mean, six, realistic, six, 10 well, hours. Think yes. about this, Joe. Think about this, Joe. If he gets up his snap crystal bulge pick time, then, then you know, things could really turn in his favor. If he starts jerking off a little more. Yeah, because, you know, you have to, I mean, to take a good bulge pick, right? You got to, you need at least five minutes of prep. Yeah. You need an edge time. Joe, you know, you know this. Edge man. time? Yeah. I've gotten some. I've gotten some nice. I've no, gotten some I, nice snaps from Joe. Come on, Joe. You know, you, you, know you, you, gotta, you you're you sitting gotta, there in your you goon cave, and you don't know what we're talking about here. You know, you, you give it. But well, we don't need you to give a demonstration. Oh uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't think we need a physical. Okay. No. No. But you, no, but you're trying to. You you're could, trying to. You could. You could add some more time to your 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 week if you start. If you. Yeah. I'm no. just saying. Listen. Regardless of how listening. busy you are, we're all busy. 
even like even if the girl just sends a little text like a photo just like look at it hey do you but like that's this? not that's no. not work but i'm saying like if you got if you got a second like even like it's for the house you know like there's gonna be something you look at every day of your life yeah. Girl, it's just like while yeah, if she's she sent, yeah if she sent photos especially if there's like yeah. an established thing where they're where they're they're both kind of working i mean joe are you dating anyone yeah i've been dating a girl for two two years four months you now. guys live together nope okay so i'm also we'll, in college so, you gotta so I, i'm also i'm also college. like younger than yeah. both of you tucker mm-hmm. how does the decisions for the Not decor the opinion yeah, let's get well, the married the decor, opinion. I feel like it's 50-50. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe not. Uh, well, honestly... Dude, if it, if I have a wife... <laughs> I feel like if you're a husband that really cares about decor, though, I feel like just in general, like, it, it, when I am when I move in with my girlfriend, I'm it's just, yeah, whatever you want to put up. Bro, if it's 50-50 and I got a wife... Half the shelves gonna be filled with fucking Bionicle, Toa Nuju, <laughs> Toa Liwa. Like, uh, it's gonna be a. It's just fucking gonna be like one of those big there. anime yeah. sculpture fucking yeah. light up cases, and it's the gonna fucking be all big monkey statue. Baby. The guy has a room, like the man cave, where they decorate it with all the bullshit, yeah. and then yeah. everything else. It's like not fifty. I feel like the woman's gonna be like, kind of taking the reins on that one. Yeah, you need a you need an entertaining space that maybe doesn't look like something out of cyberpunk. Oh, you don't like my you don't like my uh dude, my half my my whole fucking apartment's covered in LED lights. I know what you're talking about when it comes to the lab lamps. Okay? I'm sorry. Is that fucking pickle Rick on the right? I I, I got one of those. I got I, the bonsai tree doesn't make Lego, up for the fact. Lego bonsai tree. It, yeah. Who's on the right? Who's on the right? Yeah, is it Oh, he's just avoiding yeah, it. He's no, totally avoiding it. Oh, the Deadpool head? No, 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 no. no. We, oh, we've man. seen the Deadpool. We've seen little the Deadpool. A little more over. A little more over to the right. right. Yeah, there he is. Oh, shit. That's a pickle Christ. Rick. That's a pickle it's Rick. A Audio three listeners foot, love you to three death. Foot pickle Joe's Rick. got a fucking waifu pillow pickle Rick. Yeah. yeah. What about Dave and Busters? Oh. oh. No. Well, okay. That changes things. Should I do one of my Dave and Busters? Yeah. How many points? What were you playing? Ski ball? Oh, I play, you know, I'll play the Flappy Bird game. I'm playing Pop the Lock. I'm playing Stack Em. I'm playing that one game where you go beep, 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 and you got to, like, press all the buttons in time. You're playing Pretty fucking good at that uh, one. the Spider Game? I don't even know if it's called the Spider Game. Oh, do you remember the Spider Game where it was, like, little buttons you press to step on the spider? No. Am I, I going crazy? No, you're going crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I'm at pinballs, I play the fucking Flappy Bird machine. Yeah, Damn. yeah, literally. Yeah, just press, Flappy Bird. Press, that gives press. you the most tickets per, most per tickets. pipe pass. Yeah, especially if you beat the high score. Oh yeah, that's a big, big bonus that big, day. Big I, you out. gotta go. You gotta go at the morning, and then you know what you do? You, you first one in that machine every day. You start at one, and you get yeah. then you, your next one. You go to two, and then you just mm. beat it by one, and then you get the you get the new high score bonus still. Oh my god! Right. I think this that's is that's what you gotta do. I think this is pretty good. This is pretty good that you won this in. And how much was it? Was it how much money did you? I I probably put in about 50, 50, 60 bucks. Wow. Wow. And you got a pickle wreck? I got a big three foot pickle wreck. I think that's a fair price. I think that thing's probably I think that thing's probably forty bucks. Yeah. So you know, I gotta play some games. You think that that thing is forty bucks? They're yeah, definitely yeah. pumping that shit out in a Chinese factory. All right. Dude, that, all thing, right. that thing's all worth right. seven right. cents. Dude, I'm sorry. Seven yeah. cents? Seven yeah, that cents. Thing's worth, that thing's worth half that a fucking penny. Thing, uh, yeah. Pickle Rick. They're squirting them out every second. I can't even find them. Oh, I found it on eBay. How much? $79.95. Bullshit. There's You're no way that's me. 80 here's bucks. A, here's a 20-inch one for 50 Wait, what'd you get it for? A twenty inch one, which is way smaller, for fifty bucks on Amazon. Shit. So you got like bullshit. Maybe I profited I mean, on the old Dave and Buster. He's got, you're not telling me he's got equity in the pickle <laughs> rick. <Yep. laughs> That's a part of my That's, network. I mean, it sounds like it's a pretty valuable pickle rick. Fuck, man. I mean, was that made uh pre or post voice actor change? You can tell based on pre. the cloth. So Ooh. 
Pre. Yeah, pre. That's good. That's how wow. I okay, so that's embedded with the. I mean, that could be won a that bomb, back actually. in uh, 20, 20, 2020, 2021. Okay, uh, twenty twenty one because COVID. I I they, I don't even think Dave and Buster's was open. Are you okay with us auctioning that off to our viewers? Um, if I if I want another one, uh, no. But <laughs> even you know, if you want it's another a one, one of one, if it's a one, it's a one of one currently. Oh. It's definitely not a one of one. They it's a one of one. It's the Joe Bart one of one. They re they restocked that the next the second you got it. Yeah. Um, how really. about this? What if we threw in one of those little Febreze little fucking twist off things that you got back? Yeah. There? What if we that's, throw that one's one of getting these low. twist? One of those yeah, that one's getting low. Doesn't stink. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got some Funko Pops. Not a little Funko, yeah, yeah, yeah. little little Mickey. <laughs> you sound enthused, lad. <laughs> little 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 Mickey here. You know, I have a conspiracy you, theory you, about so uh, Disney. There's so many Funko Pops, and you chose to get you chose to get the mouse. Well, Mickey is a part of a conspiracy theory that I that I oh. came up with uh, okay. myself. Uh, it's called well, the Disney Sniffer Theory, sniffer? Uh, and it's you know, employee underwear is a requirement at Disney World. And so I have a theory that the real life Mickey Mouse uh, sniffs the underwear to confirm that the workers are wearing the um, employee oh, underwear, right? Because they're not allowed to film you, and they're not allowed to, right? Like watch. Can we you go back to the dress. beginning real quick? Right, employee, employee underwear. Employee underwear. Employee underwear is a thing at Disney World. What are yeah. we? What are we talking about here? You are required to wear not only the uniform but a specific underwear that they will provide to my knowledge right i did a little powerpoint whole whole video on what? it you know a little school presentation you know what it looks like is it look comfortable um i i don't know but i'm pretty sure it's just because the you might see Dude, the underwear up. it is does it have little like linings uh, oh this is cup this your is surely out? for the for the character actors yeah this isn't this isn't just like if you're working the if you're working the concession stand <laughs> oh, no, and you're making not the you concession choose your stand. fucking underwear that seems <laughs> yeah, kind of no. crazy. But they have to know how you're wearing the underwear, right? Because like what if what if I just don't wear the underwear? So I'm assuming when they return the underwear every day, real life Mickey exists. That's theory number 1. Okay. Theory number 2 is that Disney Disney's Mickey smells the underwear and confirms whether or not it's been worn. Yeah, that's right. Really, Hot that's, summer day in Orlando, Florida. You're going to be able to smell yeah. whether or not somebody's worn the employee underwear. So, if we take this a step further, you realize that we we can derive from this, right? What is that? You've spent an inordinate amount of hours thinking about a real life Mickey Mouse sniffing underwear. Yeah, no, and I actually have. Um, <laughs> if you, you could, I, I have photos of what I believe the real life photos. Mickey Mouse. Look up, uh, look up Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse in real life. And there's a few photos where I think they really just nail it on the head. There's a few where they try to make him look cute. I don't really I don't really vibe with that. I think he would kind of look more like uh, a three foot New York City rat. Mm. Um, just kind of hulking out. You think that that's him? I think that'd be real life Mickey. Dude. Why has oh. he got so many folds? Yeah. A little wrinklage. Oh, oh, yeah! But just like, can't you imagine, like, like just real life Mickey just in a cage? They yeah, dump I, all I the don't. Underwear I don't think I like imagining it. it though. I feel like you're yeah, pushing this like, thing where you got to You like think about this, Ted, and I'm like, I don't like how it's making me feel. Yeah, but Joe. I, mean, I don't like, know. I don't like how this makes me feel, Joe. Yeah, but there's some mm. things in Disney that are just you know, you walk by, you're like, things are a little too perfect. You go under underground. It's a real they're, life listen, Mickey. They're storing the fucking head of Walt Disney down there too. Yeah. There's a couple secrets. I've in been this. I've been down there. I've been you down have? there. Yeah, when I was really? a freshman in high school, they took me on a little tour. Wow. It was like a subway. It was really big. Hmm. Oh. Pretty cool. Shit. Should we you know? we should we should probably listen to another asshole thing, I realize. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite a rabbit hole. Yeah, <laughs> we went down a rabbit hole. I don't even know how we got hole. on that topic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. It's been a good thirty minutes, though. Yeah. I think. No, it's been like <laughs> seven. Okay. Am I the asshole for having less time for my kids? Here's the story. 
I'm a 35 male, and the mother of my children, Lexi, is also 35. We had an extremely healthy breakup. We were never married. So we had an agreement for for me to see our kids, 16 female, 15 male, and 10, every other weekend. But they could also stay with me whenever they wanted to. Yeah, I guess so. Damn. I was going to say, that's pretty young. However, right now, I'm living with my partner, Lana, and I'm taking care of my stepkids, nine, six, and four. And she's also expecting, so I have priorities for them at the moment. This weekend was supposed to be the weekend for me to see the kids, however. For me to see the kids. However, I had to cancel as Lana is extremely stressed and didn't want more people in the house, so I obliged. I called Lexi to tell her that they can't come over, and she said she would let the kids know. My 16-year-old called me to let me know she was disappointed and she missed me because I had to cancel last time as well. I explained to her that Lana was struggling and I needed to be there for her and the kids. She got really upset saying that I love Lana and her kids more than her. I told her that that wasn't true and I love Lana and her kids as much as I love my biological children. Hmm. I told her that I could go to lunch with all of them and then go shopping and catch up. They all agreed and we had a great time up until Lana called me and told me she was feeling sick. So I had to leave early and head home so Lana could rest. Now my kids are extremely angry at me and they're all refusing to answer my calls. Am I being a bad father or am I in the right? Also, feel free to call out any mistakes. I'm not good with grammar. Okay. It it has no grammar. There's no punctuation. I I feel like that's an in-between scenario. Yeah. Because I can understand how the kids are feeling where it's like your dad cares more about kids that aren't his. Yeah. But on the other hand, he is obligated to help his current partner. And there. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I would call him an asshole. I would say that it, that is a tough situation to be in. Yeah. That's this is more of like a man. That sucks, bro. Yeah, that sucks. Like, not, not a you're an asshole. I'd be like, yeah, man. Wow. Like, I'm sorry. Like, uh, we'll be- that's like because something you a- somebody complains about when you're hanging out with your buddy. And you're like, man, that's you're like, uh, man, that tough, sucks. Bro. Yeah, that's tough, bro. And then he keeps going yeah. on about it, and you're like, damn, <laughs> man. Ah, <laughs> you're like sm- a ball smoking yeah. weed. And you're like, dude, I'm too high for this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Or you pass him the <laughs> joint, and he's just holding it, talking, and you're like, ah, anybody, can you hit that, please? Ah, can I? Uh, <laughs> can I get? Can I get? Let me, let me get a little bit of that. Yeah, and he's like, oh no, I'm about to hit it. It's like, well, it's out now. Can you relight it? <laughs> I don't think I heard a single word of that. I am absolutely fucking wrecked off the schnapps. You didn't hear any of it. You didn't hear any of that. No, I tried to. Well, what is pick the... it up like halfway in, and I was just like, man, fuck. <laughs> So what what do the comments say, Tucker? Top comments pretty good. Here it is. Oh wow, are you the asshole? Mm. You have replaced your children with your new girlfriend and her kids and made it abundantly clear to them that your new family matters more to you than they do. Don't be surprised 10 years from now when your daughter wants someone else to walk her down the aisle at her wedding. Ooh. You'll be lucky to even get an invite. Damn, uh, dude. dude. Honestly, honestly that kind of swayed my opinion. Yeah, actually, I changed yeah. my mind. Because from yeah, from the viewpoint <laughs> from the viewpoint of the kids, dude, like their betray their father betrayed them for another family. Yeah, like from the it, from the viewpoint <laughs> of the kids, like their father's a fucking dude. asshole. Wait, I see things entirely differently now. <laughs> yeah, Joe's so close to the camera. Yeah, Joe, you're getting oh real close God. to the camera. I'm seeing your veins popping out as you're saying funny. that, bro. I you know what? I agree with that redditor. Yeah, I think 100%. that was a good take. I still feel like it's uh like what is he supposed to just never never get with anybody else? Never never marry whatever because they they were never married to begin with. They just had three kids together. Ah, uh, I don't know. Ooh. I feel like being with another woman's fine, but not being the keep dad. Keep talking about this. I have to I've been holding in a piss for a while. And I need to get this piss out. You're good. But keep talking. Keep going, Joe. This is great. No, I love it. This is good, I, I I don't know. I, I think no, that... Joe, keep going. Keep going, I'll, I'll Joe. keep going. I'll keep going. I'll, yeah, and when you get back, can he even hear me? No. No, he can't. He can't hear me. He what? Just... Uh, Go. Yeah. Go. Okay. Get lost. Fucking I think blueberry. that this is a more relatable experience. As weird as, the, as, as, and as specific as this is, 
one in three families, I think, in the United States are divorced. And I think it's one in two marriages end in divorce now. Uh, My parents have been divorced since I was a month old. Right. I think it's not. And I always say my chat will ask me when I'm on when I'm when I'm on Twitch. They're like, what should I write about my college essay? And I'll be so straight up. I'm like, don't write about your parents divorce because they don't care. It doesn't make you unique. And I say it bluntly, yeah. and then people will be like, oh, that's so messed up. And I'm like, dude, my parents have been divorced since I was a month old. Like, it's, it's You should something... open with that. Well, yeah, I, I, I think it's a suit. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. But, you know, I'm waiting for the, I, I do wait for the shock value for people to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, well, my parents are divorced. So um, mm. I, it's just it's it's a very common thing now comparable to like your parents parents right like everybody's grandparents tend to be together yeah they stuck together yeah stuck together they, got, they, they even if they didn't the want to yeah, even if they didn't want to you, know? you know yeah um shit what does that say about our society though well i i think it's it was ingrained socially that people shouldn't get a divorce and now if you're 75 and you have marital problems ah you're almost dead anyway you know so it's <laughs> Bro, might as well fucking, that's might as well ride it out today it's just yeah. like Ah, God, no. I'm, ah. I really want to go through this problem. I, I'm going to die soon, you know? Yeah. So let's uh, gossip about Ted for a second. Um, what about Ted? I don't know. I just feel like he's been off recently. Have you felt that today? Yeah, a little, little, little bit off. A little bit off. A little bit off. You know, he's just got like, there's no life in his eyes recently. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm wondering if something happened. And he's been gone for a while, you know? like he's Totally gone for a while. Like, he said he was going for a little piss, but this is kind of a shit. Yeah, I feel like he's this like... just shit length. Yeah, shit length. I mean, shit length. Shit length. How long, length. Are, how long are your really? shit? How long are your shits? I'm efficient with them, I'm you know? Out. I got a bidet, so I... You have a bidet. So he, oh, I have a bidet. I have a, really? I have a $630 bidet. Joe is that Biden an expensive? Is there a cheap? Is there cheaper alternatives for bidets? Oh, of course, there's a twenty dollar bidet that isn't heated. Has mm. no none of the none of the convenience. You gotta wash. You gotta wash it out yourself. Put it in. Oh the yeah, dishwasher. It, it, there's no there's no uh, there's no fan that dries your butthole. After you make no fun of my bidet uh, right you know, now. Psh, psh, psh. Oh, Ted has that one. Oh, you have a bidet. <laughs> Yeah, Ted totally has that. You both one. have to. Do you use them every time you? Well, use, I bought you, the you bidet. It was the bidet that I bought when we had Swagger Souls on a while ago, and he suggested this cheap twenty dollar one you can get on Amazon. So I bought that one. Yeah, that's a shitty one. I have a six hundred thirty dollar it bidet. Is, it's got really strong water pressure too. It's that super fuck- strong, even the lowest setting, even the lowest setting. But I will yeah. say, my new bidet. Also, is kind of strong, but I think over the years I've kind of gotten used to it. So maybe You've gotten, you know, maybe accustomed. next time I come over to your house, I'll be uh, a little more accustomed to the pressure. I've, I've never used a bidet in my entire life. Oh, uh, I, Joe, dude, I'm a wiper. if I'm away from home and I haven't used a bidet in a while, I feel dirty. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I feel. I'm gonna it, send you. I'm gonna send you my address right now. Okay, Joe, and you're gonna come over and you're gonna shit. And just use your bidet. Yeah. It listen, there's a there's one button you press. And you don't have to have wipe your ass at all. Listen, I have a preset. I have a preset. You just position yourself correctly a on custom the, setting. On the bowl. You hit the one button. Yeah. And I have it programmed into the remote. It'll mm. fucking spray you a little bit. It'll up the pressure. It'll start fucking cover all your fucking you know around the butthole too, you know? And you don't wipe after that? You don't just coverage. like blow dry no, your ass. No, coverage. let me tell you what it does after. Let me tell you what it does after. It sprays you for about 30, 45 seconds. And then. Warm air? Oh, oh warm, warm air. air warm okay. air. Warm water, warm air. And how, then, ha- how hard is the water pressure? It's. Listen, for the first time, it might be a lot. Just but like, oh, it is like nothing. A, you may feel a bit violated. Here's the thing. You 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 go in. I, I always clench a little bit when I hit the button to do the routine. I clench a little bit. I do a little Kegel. It's a little shock. You know? initially. Yeah, because it, it just closes up the whole butthole area. But I will say, uh, you know, after it's done drying your asshole, so you don't yeah. even have to use toilet paper to dry, uh, it then... That's what you hear. Yeah. And that sound is actually it spraying uh air freshener. Air into freshener. That area. Yeah. Deodorizing. Yep. On your asshole. 
Deodorizer. It's and got you, a little and deodorizer. You've never button. had a. It doesn't get it all. No, it, something that the something that, that the actors at Disney could very well use is some deodorizer. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And listen, I've had no complaints. Wow. None. Yeah. All right. So I think we've got a. I've, you haven't complained uh, yourself, or people haven't complained. People to haven't you. complained. <laughs> well, I don't I've, think that I've, people are. I've given it a whirl. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right, and I get my saying? and Joe and Joe Bartolozzi, I get my ass eaten it, frequently. Yeah, gross. Why are you saying that? <laughs> no complaints after the bidet usage. No, yeah, not. Yeah, not. No, that's. What if they're just not saying anything? Yeah. What if they're just fucking? <laughs> that fucking sucks for them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that no. fucking sucks for them. That's dude. what I call not my problem. <laughs> That's what they call a fucking choco taco. Is what they're yeah. calling. Yeah. Uh, dude, I'll send you my address. Okay. I'll see you next week. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what I, what I was saying is that sometimes I'll go, uh, you know, multiple times. Like if I feel any any semblance of a shit in my colon i'll just go yeah and sometimes i i'll do like very small shits multiple times a day so i get to use the bidet more wow. sometimes even if i don't want to shit and if it's like before a you know a stream or like a important recording i'll just sit in there for five minutes and just i'll tell you one thing routine going why don't you the just heated, use the bidet he's got a heated oh. seat in his too and oh, that yeah. heated oh, seat yeah. toilet yeah heated seat toilet it's like one of those things where it's like you spend so much time of your life shitting if you really think about yeah. it you do it almost every day if you've got you know good enough fiber why i've gone three four what are times we doing? you know why why should we be sitting miserable on cold ceramic when in reality I, we could be Living like kings. Yeah. I, I have a question for you. Guys. We may have an answer. If you're at a public restroom, Misery. are you going to place toilet paper on the seat before you take a shit? No. No, no I don't do that. I don't. No, I don't. No. And I, I've been scolded saying, oh, how disgusting. But uh, yeah, I was taught to do it. But I uh, actually no, it's don't. Just, I it's actually too much don't care. work. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's too much my, work. It's a lot. I, it's my. So much it's work. not. I'm not putting my face on the toilet. It's my ass. You I know, feel like I'm, I'd be getting more germs spending that extra time in a public toilet than I would be just getting in and out. I shower. I shower. You know. I yeah. I've been in public restrooms where I'm at an airport and I got about 15 minutes before I got to catch a flight. Mm -hmm. And I take a seat and the seat's warm. And most people would be off put by that. But in my mind, I say, damn, thank you to the guy that yeah. warmed this up for me. There you go. I'm not scared Thanks, of warm man. seats anymore. It's a yeah. tag team. You know, it's a, yeah. you guys are working he helped together. Me out. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm never going to, I'm never going to see him. You know, I can't thank him. And then when you walked out of that toilet, there was a line. All the other ones are open. There's a line. Everyone's yeah. trying to come for the good toilet, yeah. the warm one. <laughs> oh, Joe was on that one. Yeah. I oh, want that yeah. one. Yeah. I'd wait for that seat. I'll tell you that much. Joe Asalozzi. If you guys are um, if you guys are at a public restroom and there's a line of men waiting to use the urinal, but you see that there are urinals open, but there are two men on either side of the urinal, are you going? To yeah, use that urinal? of course yeah. I am. What a fuck. No, but I've seen I've seen guys wait. I'll go to a bar and there's there's a whole line and I peek my head in and there's four oh. urinals open. They're just yeah. the middle ones. I I won't use a middle urinal. But if there's a line out the door, I got to really pee. There's a wall. You know, I'm you won't hug use that a middle urinal. urinal. You won't go next. There's there's I won't use a middle urinal unless it's full. Are these are these open face urinals? Yeah. Like, no, no guard. Just the urinal out of the <laughs> out of the wall. I'm going to I'm going to pin my body yeah. against the urinal. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you pin it. Yeah. You pin it. Oh, you yeah. Cup just, your, yeah. You cup your you cup your you cup to yeah, prevent yeah, yeah. any sort of viewage. Yeah, yeah, no, you've got great, you've got you, you've yeah. got great form, Joe. You've got great form. What about me? Do I have good form? I didn't wait. Can I see yours again? I didn't get. To, I was looking at Joe's. Jesus. No, you're, okay, you, you gotta see, go. You gotta stick that's more interesting. in. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. pin yourself against it. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. You want to hear about? You want to hear? I've got a I've got another uh, marine reference coming in here, so Tucker can answer this. You want to hear about something that sucks is going into a bathroom with no stalls. Tucker, take it away. 
Oh yeah, when at boot camp there's no stalls, so it's just all the toilets. Just, just have all there's the, a line, the and then there's them on the other wall. So you're not just even no door, other. just stalls facing or just like toilets facing each other. Yeah, you're just hanging out in there. Oh, why would they? Do, why would out. they do that? I why would they? Why that. did they? Do why that? wouldn't they? I think it is good. I think it is good preparation to like you know take a shit in the middle of the woods. Run the There's no urinals field. either, just yeah. a trough. Well, that doesn't bother me. Oh, I could, I could pee. Trough. I could pee anywhere, but pooping. I don't know. I don't know about that, dude. Yeah, I mean, I just you get comfortable with shitting real quick if there's like, because you know, like when you're a kid in elementary school and you're like going to the bathroom and someone else enters the restroom and you're like. <gasps> It, it kind of turns into stealth mode where it's like you don't want them to hear your plops as if that's not the reason we're all there. And then they laugh. You you rip ass when you're in the public restroom. Dude, that was Dude, even I, in high school. I still have that. You were getting you laughed fart, at You for fart that? and you hear. No, I, I remember my junior year in high school. I was it, they, they had a new building at my high school. And we, I was about to go to a track meet, but I had to take a dump. And I was like, I'm going to go there because no one's in that building. First 10, I take half hour shits. Of course. I'm playing I'm playing Clash of Clans. You know, I'm doing whatever. There you yeah. go. Scrolling Twitter. I'm sitting, yeah. Well, I and I'm 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 having a grand old time. It's spring. It's ninety five degrees in the bathroom because there's Season not AC rebirth. in the building yet. Yeah, not no AC in the building yet. I'm sweating, right? But I'm I'm getting this poop out. Next thing I know I hear I hear the door open and two people laughing walk in. Actually this is when I was a sophomore. They were seniors because they mm. I could see their pants and we had uniforms and under and I could see their pants under the stalls and they were seniors. Oh, they got senior and I was like, pants. And, and I went, oh, no. And then I rip ass and they start fucking shaking the stall. They start messing with me. And I'm what? like, what? That whole time I'm like, fucking hell. Like, you've never mm. had that. I went to an all guy school, so I, I yeah, mean, maybe it sounds like an all guy school. Kind yeah, of thing where they to would, do. with it, yeah, we would have belt fights in the locker room. Belt yeah, fights, belt mm. fights. Yeah, that was that was how you settled discrepancies <laughs> because we had belts with our uniform. You'd take them out. You just whip each other. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, they would. They they were laughing. They were messing with me, and then from then on, I was like, I'm never pooping in school again. But now in college, now in college, I'll just get up mid mid lecture. I'll go take a half hour dump, stroll back Dude, in like nothing happened. I feel like I may have talked about this before, but how crazy was it was was it when you were a kid and you had to ask to go to the bathroom? I hated that. That was through like high that, school, all high school. Humiliating kind of thing to have to do. Can I? It's like, hey, can I please like shit? It's like in the teacher, the teacher's like why are they why are they allowed to determine that like there's got to be examples of kids shitting themselves in class and then they say you mean the restroom yeah uh may you may you use can i the can restroom? i go can i go to the bathroom uh, is there a bath in there i used to have a teacher that would tell me that oh. no you mean the restroom what am i taking uh, a fucking nap in the bathroom what, what do you mean <laughs> restroom i'm taking a shit yeah jeez well, this is off topic. We've got, uh, and I know we need to get back to the asshole questions. Joe, do people notice you on campus? Like, is there, uh, you know, everyone, uh, everyone's yeah, you a local celebrity, face, you know? Um, yeah, and no. In my classes, people will like be pretty chill about it. I well, mean, yeah, they might yeah. be like, I know you, and I'll be like, that's cool, right? <laughs> Have a conversation. I, sure. Hey, Joe, I know you. I know you. Yeah, like. I, some people might ask for a photo, but that's like yeah. very infrequent. And I'm also not on campus often because I'm pulling up, going to class, leaving. Right. I'm not like right. chilling there, hanging yeah. out. I'm not living on campus. I think it would be a little bit different, but it, it's like college is actually a place where getting recognized is not bad. Getting yeah. recognized in like the Jersey Shore. I don't <laughs> go to the Jersey Shore anymore. Because, oh really? Because of that? Yeah, I don't. Not. I mean, not. Not. Not boardwalks. Not Wildwood OC. Any boardwalk in in New Jersey. Every time I've ever gone, um, like I don't. I don't think I'm famous. I think people just know me. But it's like half of it. Like I'll go. I'll go to a boardwalk. I was in. I was in Point Pleasant in July, and I wasn't that bad. I got recognized well, like maybe twice. 
I, you're all you also mainly do YouTube, and so I feel like people New are more Jersey chill about TikTok it. state. I, I I don't know. It's just I'll I'll show up, and somebody will be like, uh, and I also think it's because I'm from New Jersey, so people know. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I I'll show up. I'm walking. It's fine, and then like one kid will go, Joe, <laughs> and I'll turn and I'll go, oh. and I and I'm Here like, what's up, man? And I I, I I have no problem interacting with like people that follow me. It's just like I'll be like, what's up, bro? And I'll be like with my girlfriend. I'll be with Brooke. We're about to go mini golfing. This was last summer. And we're about 100 yards from the mini golf place. It took us 25 <sighs> minutes to get there. The second that kid walks up, 30 other people swarm me. Oh, no. And then I'm like, and then I end up going in. See, the benefit of me being a dickhead on TikTok, though, is the fact that like they're not really expecting much out of me. In a, in a social media interaction, I they realistically they could walk up to me and I could just be like "fuck you" and just walk away, yeah. and they'd be like, well, "That's jo that's Joe." You'd totally and they'd be like, be and they'd be like "He did the that. thing." They'd be he like, "Yeah, dude, thing. I got the Joe experience, yeah. man." He told me to fuck off. So I'll I'll be nice, but like they'll ask for a picture, and eventually it's like a, a bunch of people, and I'll just be like, "I gotta go, guys," and then I'll just walk. Yeah. If or if I'm with friends, they'll shield me. They'll make like a bubble. Nice. Not paying for a security guard. I don't think that's. I don't think I'm nearly big enough yeah. for that. But um, you're sort of, no. in many ways, you're sort of New Jersey's. You know, there's no more Jersey Shore show anymore. You know, you're sort of the uh, the Kardashian of New Jersey. Many. I feel like the say. Jersey Shore really uh, just ruined the New, New Jersey. Jersey yeah, the New Jersey stereotype. Everybody's like, "Oh, you got yeah. frosted tips and a spray tan," and you yeah. and you talk like you talk like a New Yorker, but different. I'm like, no. Yeah. I think uh, I think your state was already kind of fucking stupid. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. I just say shit. You know? All right. I think we've got about time for one more. So Tucker, hit us with the best, or I suppose the worst one you've got. Okay, here's the title. Am I the asshole for asking my sister-in-law if she's bringing anything else? Here's the story. My brother just married Sarah. She's Mexican and she's coming for Thanksgiving. She said she's bringing both sweet and savory tamales. Mm. So I guess one is turkey and the other is pineapple. I thought oh, this was strange, what? but my brother said they're good. <laughs> I asked if she was bringing anything else because I don't know of anyone else other than my brother and his wife eating that for Thanksgiving. Oh, come on. Sarah just sort of ignored me, and I told my mom. My mom said I was so rude, and she'd be excited to try something different. Mom lectured me as a host, but everyone normally brings a little something, but I think my sister-in-law needs to read the room and bring something that is for Thanksgiving and not some random dish that she came up with. Oh, no. <laughs> my, oh, dude. My, Let's go. Let's go. My brother said if I say one word to his wife, he's calling me out and leaving, accusing me of being racist over something so stupid. Normally everyone brings a little dish and tamales sounds like rolls and sweet rolls and I already made those. Am I the asshole? Yes. Yeah, dude. He's such a fucking asshole. Oh my god, I would have loved to have fucking tamales at, at Thanksgiving. Dude, if someone came in and, and brought like fucking mozzarella sticks, I'd be fucking hype at Thanksgiving. Are you kidding me? Dude, if somebody rolled up with tacos on Thanksgiving, I would have been like, oh, fuck. I would be yeah, so happy because I, I'm going to have an odd take here. I dislike most of traditional Thanksgiving food. Yeah, you're just saying you're just saying what people are thinking. You know, you're, no. you're, I, don't, I don't know about I, that. I, I don't I've know about said that. it before, and a lot of people are like, what the hell are you talking about? I think turkey is garbage, right? I've said it on TikTok. You know, it's really basic, hard to make. Basic yeah. response, turkey basic right. response I get is, okay. you're white, right? That's why that's the turkey sucks. Up, you yeah, can't but that's make a fucked up thing to say. Turkey know? sucks. It's, no, so, it it's the worst. No, no, no. If you have no, to, no, no. if you have to do everything in your power to make it not be dry and disgusting, and people are like, oh, that's the white meat. That's 90% of the fucking turkey. Yeah. Right? If you if you have to deep fry it, s smoke, put it in a smoker for six hours, pump it full of butter, s Cajun seasoning all over it and, then <laughs> yeah. it, and then it's edible, just fucking make a chicken. Yeah. At that point, I'd rather go to a, a, a fucking grocery store, get a $4 rotisserie chicken, eat that. It's going to taste better. And honestly, if you served... 
if you served like a nice rotisserie chicken you had it already pre-cut up and you started feeding it to people would people really like they'd know it's how, chicken how long they'd know would, it's they, chicken. would they yes because it wouldn't taste like shit exactly. and they'd be like They'd be but like, is otherwise, this, is this otherwise, chicken? it's like, it's like <laughs> I can't this? detect the graininess. What's going on? I can't detect the graininess. I I've said, yeah, that, it, like when you chew it, yeah, it's, it's like, like it's it like, like it's got like a spongy texture to it almost, you, where it's like, what? I is said that? I'm gonna be a ham family when I when I get a host <sighs> Thanksgiving. I yo yeah, you could you could say that's that's Fuck foul, no. but I'm gonna be a ham I family. I feel like Thanksgiving could literally just be fucking meat. I feel like I'm just gonna be a <sighs> meat family. I feel like it's like we're busting out because I'm I, oh my. Bro. I would love if the fucking Thanksgiving was an A5 Wagyu or some shit. Yeah, why don't cool, you just right? make steaks? That's, I think that's that fair. when I get a house, the next, because my current hyper focus is the bike because people were calling me fat in the comments on Chuckle Sandwich. So my next thing is going to be, and I bike to and from the gym, Joe, just for context there. And it's awesome. I listen to music. It's beautiful. Um, my next thing would be to get a smoker when I have a, yeah. my own place. I yeah. feel like I could get really into smoking, um, and then get like a bunch, get brisket and get chicken and get all bunch of fucking meats and stuff, and then that be Thanksgiving. Like, why? Why do we have to follow? Because it's a tradition that people feel they they have to follow. I did a friendsgiving this year, and we all had T bone steaks, and it was amazing. Ugh. We had we had nice like not like not like grocery store t-bones like you're going to a meat market you're getting those mm. big thick t-bone steaks mm. you know season them grilling them and Ooh. it's like wow like it was so much more yeah, enjoyable that's... than the family thanksgiving that's because i'm awesome. i'm staring down a fucking broccoli casserole praying that i'm gonna yeah, get that, through this that's bullshit I, like i mean do it does anybody really like what's what else do you not enjoy like there's a mac and cheese you know i love mac, mac and cheese, cheese. I, like I, mashed potatoes i love mac like and cheese gravy. i don't like mashed potatoes. Stuffing. I, I don't like mashed potatoes you don't like mashed potatoes no. well no. can i just tip in here for a second Shall I, yeah a uh, mac and cheese not traditional item but it is well, a supplementary like item that people have added over the years yeah, i feel, I feel like, like it's in every thanksgiving household by the way, Tucker, how was that fucking uh, truffle mac that somebody brought to your Thanksgiving? I was oh, thinking about that. Mac. It wasn't as good as the last year's. Last year was so good, everybody was hyped, and this year he's like, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't put as much truffle in it this year." We're all like, "Why the fuck not?" <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Before we before we head out, I need to lay out my ideal Thanksgiving meal, and I think we all should. Okay. Oh yeah. Can all I right. also just say before that dude's a total asshole? By the way, right? We're all on. Oh agreement. yeah, I would. I would be fine with the the fucking tamales. I think that would be yeah. nice. And yeah, he's hosting sick. the dinner, so yeah. like you fucking get some food. Yeah. Yeah. Either exactly. Way. Yeah, you make the food. Yeah. Dickhead. Sorry, sorry, like, you didn't what? have to fucking slave away <laughs> since eight a.m. this morning, and you got tamales yeah. instead of fucking stuffing, dude. It's yeah. just old bread. It's, it is old bread. It is old bread. Okay. I, you know, I invite everybody over to my house. Let me, yeah. let me tell you, let me tell you what I'm making. Okay. You, you guys chime in with, if you think it's not is good Is this enough. just going to be your ideal meal or Thanksgiving? This is my ideal Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, okay? because mm -hmm. no, ideal you know, like, meal no, is different. Ideal, well. Ideal meal is like, think, what am I eating as, on death row? Like, if I'm, I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm still thinking about like a hearty, like, like a, a Thanksgiving a still, family like American, meal. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, here we go. The main course, A5 Wagyu ribeye. Mm. Yeah. From fucking Kagoshima. You know, you get that thing fucking flown in on a helicopter from Japan. Hokkaido region. Top fucking, yeah, oh yeah, all, all the way. Big you ass. You do a supply drop on a parachute. I just, right I've, in my fucking back. I just think it's yeah. kind of, it's funny. It's coming in on a Chinook. Yeah. Huh? Who knows? Ribeye. Side dish. One lobster mac and cheese. Damn, okay. you're 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 kicking ass right now. But you're also sort of describing a boa meal. And side dish number two: truffle fries. <laughs> I think that's a, from I think that's a boa. Meal. I think that's a boa. You're steakhouse. talking about a meal from right boa steak. That's a fucking. Right yeah, I think we eat that every single time. And then a boa number four, house. number four. <laughs> number four, wagyu tacos, and number oh. f number five, truffle tacos. mash, truffle yeah. mash. 
And then yeah. you got to get yourself, uh, what else is there that they, they serve? Ice and old floors there. You get a smoke show, too. That yeah, you get a smoke show, show yeah. <laughs> you said this was an American Thanksgiving meal, this and is, you've listed about nothing. This is an incredible meal that he's describing well, right now. It's it's an incredible bad. meal, but not a fucking Thanksgiving French meal. French fries, mac and cheese with lobster in it from Maine. Fine, the cow can be from America. <laughs> it could be a Wagyu cow from the U.S.? Yeah, and that's a very American meal right there, Joe Bartolozzi. What are you doing for your for a Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving meal? Yeah, <sighs> main course. If I'm going really, th- I would ideally I would love steaks, but I feel like that's not. When I was at that Friendsgiving, we were eating steaks. I was like, this isn't Thanksgiving, right? It was great, it wasn't Thanksgiving. I think I ha- you need you need a big, big, big fucking piece of meat that you're gonna mm. one dude's gonna be sawing at for like mm. two hours. Yeah. Right. So instead of turkey, okay. I'm going ham. Right. I'm going to smoked ham. One mm. of those big ones. It's just glistening, glazed. Oh, it looks. Oh, Honey ham. Just, yeah. Yeah. Just something. Oh. So, just some. Just something oh, yeah. sweet. You know. Something oh. Fucked up. And then that's that's the, the the meat. Right. Side dish. One of my favorite vegetables. I'm going green beans with bacon. Right. Green Ooh. beans, bacon, oh. garlic mixed in. Really nice. Give me a really nice with the bacon. Yeah. Uh, obviously the mac and cheese, I feel like that's a staple, but not like yeah. base mac and cheese, like the one with the, the nice crust on top where you scoop mm, into it. Yeah. It's like one of your aunts makes it and you're like, damn, yeah. thanks. You know, biscuits, <laughs> yeah. obviously you got to have some sort of bread. Yeah. Biscuits. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd go probably, probably that, uh, marshmallow sweet potato, you know, where it's like the sweet potato yeah. with the, mar- the, the, the yeah. little, yeah. What it smoked yeah. marshmallow on top. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know. I feel like I, I would love oh, to yeah. have other things. Like, that's not my ideal meal. But I would say for Thanksgiving, that's really what I'm... I feel like I would walk into that and be like, this is a Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. Right? But I feel like you're... I'm not dissing yours. I think yours is a better meal. But I, I think, think if I walk into your Thanksgiving and you're serving Wagyu, truffle yeah. fries, <laughs> I'm going to go, what are we, to a fucking restaurant? Like, as this is a... Like this yeah. isn't homemade. But hey, dude. I mean, even if even if you got to shit your fucking brains out, you get a nice bidet too. Like, oh yeah, this is a good night. You, we're, we're it would, it would be a good night. I yeah. think that mine it might hit a middle zone because, as I said before, it would just be about the meats kind of scenario. So there'd be kind of like a selection. But I think a really well cooked chicken, like we're talking, perfect. Not like you know how like chicken could be in either direction. You never had a, a bite of a chicken where you're like, "This is so perfectly moist." This is yeah. The every time I chicken. go to Popeyes or KFC, no, oh. not talking yeah, about that, no. Joe. Yeah, not no, no, every time I bite into chicken. a nice, I'm not talking fried about fried chicken. chicken. I'm talking about like a, like a chicken bucket. I'm talking about a grilled oh, nice chicken with like a whole just chicken, like, like a roasted chicken. How are you cooking the chicken? Well. No, but how? Well, like what method? Excellently done. <laughs> but like oven, rotisserie, are you, are, how are you smoking it? We are it? cooking this chicken the best way. And then... Uh-huh. All right, so that's up for grabs. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it the best. We've done it the best yeah. anyone's ever done it. We're inventing best new chicken. ways yeah, to make this had. chicken in yeah. order to achieve this. Yeah. Maybe smoked chicken. Smoked. Okay. Smoked Low and slow. Yeah. Low um, and slow. Fall off. And the then... Bed. yo. Please, yes, please. Um, and then we're getting some brisket going on. We are getting some. I'd love, I'd love some truffle mac. I think that that would be excellent. I think that um, some some crispy Brussels sprouts would be oh, very good. I love Brussels no, sprouts. No, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah I, I love. I love with, some, with a little spice, a little spice. Mm. Uh, look, I think both of you guys have had misses. You with the green beans. I'm not even Joe, done. I'm not Brussels even sprouts, done. I'm just, I'm just sharing. My you had no vegetables. I have not eaten a vegetable in years. <laughs> that's not. That's not. Uh, Do I look like I eat vegetables, dude? Do you eat fruits? Not, Do you eat anything that's regularly. colorful? No, no. That's not food dyed. Most of the things I eat have legs. Do you like? You don't eat any vegetables or fruit. No, none. Damn. Like you can't name any Most of like the time. apples, the watermelon, pineapple, berries. The last. You don't even eat berries. Yeah, you won't eat like a strawberry or like a blueberry. <laughs> And like a pop tart. 
baby. God, are <laughs> you not shit? in there? How, okay. That's how just a are flavor. Your shits? That's not they're not even in there, man. How are, are you shitting thing? four times a day? I feel like you'd be like pooping out a brick. No, but that's the thing I like I know when I can feel like even the tiniest shit and then I you know. Like a bear. Yeah. No, but they eat vegetables, <laughs> they eat plants. Okay. Fine. I I don't You're believe my case right you now. don't eat do you <laughs> eat any anything that right grows now. do you eat anything that grows out of the ground no, uh, like potato that, you no, like potatoes it's, it's got fucking dirt on it you like potatoes so but that's a I starch. guess so, yeah I guess so I guess I eat potatoes I guess potatoes are probably the only yeah fruit French or fries vegetable I've that's not a, they're neither it's a starch many years oh okay great dude he's cooking you right now I'm sorry I'm not being cooked <laughs> I don't I, I know this is cooked. I know this is fucking, a podcast. It's a fucking olive wag you on. It's Schlatt, a fucking feel, olive wag you on Schlatt, my cast I, iron pot. I feel. I feel like you should start eating more vegetables. You know why? This just, is an intervention now. Apparently. Just a health thing. You don't. <laughs> you just only eat carbs and meat. That's the only thing you eat. Is like, like what? What do you eat? Like what's your dinner or like lunch? Like what are you eating? Like chicken. That's it. That you don't just. Just sometimes like you're you're, yeah, you're out you're out to dinner. You're just eating just chicken, rice. Okay, so carbs. No, no. that's a plant. Well, he's got seaweed because he has sushi. Oh, sushi! Sometimes you like sushi? sushi? Yeah, but yeah. I don't eat seaweed. I like the nigiri pieces. Oh, you yes. don't like the normal sushi? You're avoiding the seaweed. Yeah, I don't like plants. He gets the crispy rice, the yeah. deep yeah, the fried rice. Rice. Fry the good. rice, you know, put some. Spicy tuna. It's the least salmon. healthy version of sushi. Yeah. Do, do you, by chance, know what your blood pressure is? High. Okay. High. Yeah. That is, that is I mean, car. even if I did eat healthy, it'd be high. My family have all died of heart attacks. Well, I would choose. What I would say <laughs> then you should probably, you know, even more play on the safe side. Okay, bro. And, and then I get what? Like a couple months extra? <laughs> a couple the months. What do I care? You had, when was bro? the last time you had a vegetable? About a couple decades, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. That's all like, I'll do, say. Like, do you, can you remember the last time you ate something green <laughs> that wasn't food colored? Like a, like a salad, like lettuce? No. I don't like salad, but like peas. I used to beans. get I used to get salads from a salad place, but on DoorDash it's just so expensive. But you, you have know? a seven hundred dollar per day, like thirty fucking bucks to get a to get a salad delivered. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll you know McDonald's has like three dollar. Or you could just just buy a head of lettuce at a fucking grocery store for like three bucks. <laughs> I'm not walking into a grocery store. I'll get a line of people trying to take oh my photo. My <laughs> <laughs> you can get you can do Instacart. The only Instacart, <laughs> only Instacart a head of lettuce. Yeah. Okay, Real before smart, we, bro. I want to hear what Tucker's <sighs> ideal Thanksgiving thing is, though. Did you have one in mind, Tucker? Uh, I liked a lot. I, I didn't. I liked yours and Joe's. I didn't really vibe with Schlatt's because <laughs> okay, I think bro, it has to. Fine. It has to have it's some fine. Thanksgiving to it. Yeah, no, like it sit around a table and like yeah, like a brown sugar ham. Ooh. And like some smoked chickens, I yeah. think is like your best meat option. I like the green beans with the bacon. That's you can't go wrong with green beans. Mm. I'm a mashed potato guy. Get my mom in there making mash. Uh, sweet potato, whatever. That's no good. You don't like sweet potatoes. Don't you don't like sweet potatoes. Uh, they're pretty hit or miss for me. Like I've had good ones and I've had bad ones, but for like mashed potatoes, it's pretty rare. I I think I some sweet potato like. fries tossed in some salt and uh, pepper. Yeah. Oh, I'd no. go baby red potatoes. I'd do baby red roasted potatoes, little bite sized ones. God, dude. Yeah, I like in the had, oven. Like, I love those. Day for food, and I am uh, this starving. Is like, this is driving me. It's like I'm like, oh man. Fuck! You know what's fucked up about this, Ted? You live so close to Boa. You could have my ideal meal. I go like to I go to Boa seconds. every now and then, like on my own. Not like on my own. Like I'll bring it, like, I, like like no no not on my own. But I'll, I'll if a friend's in town visiting, like yeah. or, I mean like in this this fall at some point, my friend Katie, one of my best friends from college, Katie was in town. And I took her to Boa. It's usually yeah. like where I take like a, if I have a, a friend that's close enough that's in town. I will bring them to Boa. Yeah, bro, that's the one thing I miss about Los Angeles. Uh, Schlatt, what do you have in your fridge? 
<laughs> dude, Joe is um, like concerned. I'm like, for you. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, like Joe really is like, concerned. He's not now. gonna let this go. Yeah, like, what uh, do you have in your okay. fridge? Okay, like, is it There's, just uh, not much, <laughs> admittedly. There, gamer subs. Yeah, no, that's powder, so you don't need to. You got you there. Have Tucker. that in the fridge. She got um, you there. <laughs> sometimes I'll keep. Uh, what's the fucking leaf that you put Bay on? Bay leaf? Parsley, basil, Might spinach? be parsley. I think it's parsley. You okay. just have that? Yeah, I got <laughs> parsley because then you put that on Dude, top empty of the, fridge with just the ribeye when you, like, right... I just imagine opening aromatic. your fridge and it's just that, like, pale white light and just, like, ketchup. And then... <laughs> beer <laughs> and then like, no no beer maybe like actually. and then maybe like a like just old doordash that just yeah like like just fucking takeout boxes <laughs> yeah. and you're like i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna eat this a no, denny's no. grand slam just sitting in the a, back right just a, a collection wine. of old make like sauces hey, that you're hey, saving from there's from, a from wine shop there is there is a thing of chick-fil-a sauce in there so you Ooh. got me there there's nah. probably some, i do the same thing non salt so. Some non-salt butter. Okay. There's okay. parsley. Eggs. Eggs. No, don't really need those. Don't. Do you, do, how, uh, I, do you get most of your meals by uh, delivery? No. So you go out and get most of your meals? No. No, oh, so you're just eating so unsalted freezer, butter and Chick-fil-A freezer, sauce? No, the freezer is usually the one that I keep stocked. That's got uh, chicken like, tenders. Uh, like hot pockets. Ooh, hot pockets. Dude, imagine if his fridge was just like filled brim to the brim with just like soylent. Just soylent? Or Huel or something. Yeah, yeah Huel no, or I soylent. Don't, I don't do that. I, I could just that. imagine your freezer just full of like 20 pepperoni pizza hot pockets. <laughs> well, it's funny you say it. The pepperoni pizza ones are the most shitty. They're the most shitty flavor. And I'm I glad like you brought that ones. one up. Because the pepperoni pizza ones are the most structurally, like, unsound hot pockets. Oh, like pockets. they break dude, out Thinking of about hot eating a hot pocket, pocket right now is making me, like, nauseous, dude. Like nauseous? You, like, like oh you la God. what hot pocket are you eating? Ham and cheese, bro. Oh. Or sometimes, you know what? They have the breakfast one. They have a breakfast one. I like the breakfast ones. Bro, they have the cheese and the, the egg and the, and the little, like, pepper ones. And there's some chicken in there with the pretzel crust, dude. You ever had the pretzel crust breakfast ones? Those are good. No, I, it's just like, just just read the back of a Hot Pocket ingredient label. Uh, right? Like, I actually, actually, no. Actually, no. Right? I wish I was <laughs> you right now. I wish I didn't care. Like, I would just like, if I'm, if I want to eat something, I'm just like, uh, fuck it. And he just, yeah. like, no, but I'll, like, I'll eat. I'm the guy that's going to look at the back of an ingredient label and say, mm. ah, too much saturated fat. And not not eat it. Yeah, We're mainly because I get high a regard. lot, and I fear heart disease. Because we Dude, I get the munchies is... really bad when I get high. See, see the difference? Yeah, Joe. The difference? I I've already accepted it. You know, you yeah, shouldn't. It do runs. That. Don't do it that. runs in my family you're to such a degree. I'm 24 now. Oh, actually. you're 24. I'm 24. And you know what? Most of my family. Oh, this is like this is the very short period of time where we're a year. We're technically a year apart. And then I'm going to yeah. come January. I'm going to be two years. So, again. Ted, um, let me tell you something that I think we should end the podcast on this note because it's uh, it'll it'll be a great way to end it. Mm -hmm. um, most of my family members have died before 50 of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying, dude. Yeah. Do you get tests for that? No. That's really I don't scary, even have Sean. a doctor. You I don't have a I, doctor. No, I don't ha I stopped going after I was too old for the pediatrician and I don't So like anymore. 18. Yeah. Well, actually, you could go to the pediatrician until you're 25. Yeah, until you're 25. Dude, I was going to a pediatrician until I left my hometown, aka yeah, 22. Yeah, no, you can go that you can go there until you're off your parents insurance, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, I mean, they're in New York. So. Yeah, but I'm just like <sighs> Even like Joe, that if I Just if I wanted a doctor. new doctor, it'd be months in advance. Like the Texas healthcare system, just like there's not enough. Yeah, but people. just go to a yearly. I go to the like I have like I have skin cancer that runs in my family. I'll go to the dermatologist every time. Lady goes, oh no no no, and I go what? 
She'll point at a mole on my back. Just fucking scalp it off. Mm. Just scalp it off. Digs into my skin. I'll let you know in four weeks if you have cancer. I go. Then they tell me. You can just be like, wouldn't, wouldn't schedule you rather an appointment, not go know? Get blood. Why would I rather not know? I would you rather. You have to deal with it. Yeah, you no, do. No, no, it's you just, do. You have you to deal with it. it, it, it you do it at a higher level. It, you'll and get you worse. We're, this is why we're back to the allegory of the cave. This is some Plato shit, Joe Bartolozzi. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, I'm holding up. You know, I got people holding up the fucking signs for me. I don't need it. I need none okay. of that shit. How about oh. this? You are the asshole, Joe. I'm the asshole. Maybe you're the asshole here. <laughs> this feels honestly. This I will argue, Schled, that this feels ultimately very kind from Joe. He's showing a lot of concern for you right now. Did I ask? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right. Damn, brother. We'll have a we'll have a conversation once I'm not once I'm off these schnapps. But I I, I got I got about a fourth of the bottle left to go. All right. So let me polish this off. And then yeah. Well, we can don't have you? A real, you I mean, surely you have one more question for Joe, because he didn't. I don't remember him answering our que the question. We oh, had no. last time. oh Joe, no! Joe, would you rather oh, have no. unlimited bacon, but no more games? Just, just shutting down, dude. Or, and I'm going to state this very clearly because he didn't really give us a full answer last time. He did, and we won't. You didn't. Even have you to didn't. Talk about you didn't. That. And Joe, you need to give us a full answer when you come on this podcast. When Unlimited you bacon, but no games. Unlimited bacon, but no games. Hold on. I didn't finish the I don't question. need to hear the other. I don't need I to hear the other option. I didn't finish the question, I don't need Joe. to hear the other option. I, I know the, the other option. Joe, you didn't even know what he was going to say. Okay. Okay. It's been a year. And now I got to start it. again. He's and now I got to yeah, start yeah, again. Just ask again. Just ask again. Right. I got to start again now. All right. Oh, a little drink break. need audio listeners love to death. You got to take us. So we're going to snap. Joe, would you rather have unlimited bacon, yeah. but no more video games, uh -huh. or games, unlimited games? But no games. The bacon. The bacon. The yeah. unlimited bacon. The unlimited bacon, because I, I just want the bacon. I mean, have you considered that Aren't there's you a streamer? No, that you, uh, have you ever considered? Games? Have you ever considered? Have you ever considered the bacon? Well, Joe, you're a streamer. Your entire livelihood relies so you on like, your ability you to don't play like games. The, that's what I'm you saying, like Ted. The, I feel like Joe has probably streamed some games recently. But does it? Mm, but does it? But, do, but what do you? What, what is this? What, do you, what are you talking about? Does it? What are you doing? Cause, it currently, it currently relies on games. But if I have unlimited bacon, now I no longer need the games. Why is that? Because I have unlimited bacon. So? I could use that to my advantage in whatever way I so please. Whether oh. I want to open a bacon selling business, whether I want to so start building maybe houses. go into some sort of money laundering Brother's not considering the facility. law of supply and demand. If you have unlimited supply of something, you have I mean, you've basically squandered all the demand. Well, he can if I have unlimited supply, if I have unlimited supply of bacon you sell is going to be quite profitable for you but maybe the next couple tons it'll get lower and lower let me, let almost me, in a logarithmic let me sense. let me let me tell you about the uh the diamond market okay okay, okay you fine you with your hyper x gamer red headset yep uh if you control all the supply right say i have mm. unlimited bacon now i can undercut my competitors so low that i'm selling bacon for pennies on the pound they can't keep up with that Right, because they have to kill their pigs. They have to get the bacon. Yeah, they got to kill their pigs. It. I don't need to get the bacon. Right, I have unlimited bacon. Doesn't matter how bad the quality is. I'm selling bacon for so thing? cheap that you can't deny that the 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 need for it. Once all of them go out of business, I ramp up the prices because now not only do I have unlimited bacon, but I also control the supply. And therefore control the demand, just like the people in the diamond markets. I just, me, I just foiled your question. I just foiled you your question. Let me tell you something, Joe Bartolo. It was just not Joe. You didn't foil anything. His no. Shut up, Ted. I'm giving it to him. I'm giving Joe the fucking W here. Not once in the history of Chuckle Sandwich have we had someone so capitalist. <laughs> that they are able to undermine the the very foundation, foundation of, of the this question. fucking question. Yeah. 
Do you understand, Joe? <laughs> if this was the 1800s, you would be an oil, a baron. fucking Rockefeller. Okay, yeah. this is baron. that is the most robber baron fucking answer I've ever heard <laughs> to this question. That's he's, absurd. He's putting everyone out of business, and he's right. And he's right. And he's right. Is this the first time? Is am I? I think it's other than Eddie Burbank. Uh, sort of belligerently uh, denying us. Pass, the I don't care. To, yeah, <laughs> denying us the ability to have even ask him the question. Yeah, uh, I would say this is a pretty solid, uh, and I think it was due to your absolute MLG freakout that from you the had last time from the last time where it seemed to have broken your brain. It well, seems because like you, well, it seems the last like you, time you, you got into your books, it seems like you, you, you started no, dove no, into your last, studies. It was, it was just too different. I didn't, I didn't study for anything. This was just an off the cuff answer. Mm, but I don't know. last time I went with the method of trying to understand the question this time, <laughs> I know that the question makes utterly no sense. That so is instead not, I, I, fell well, into hold that. I am that's more a, that. that's, I that's a fucked up thing to say, Fuck Joe. That, and let me tell. Let me. Because would it help if I repeat? Would it help if I repeated it to no, make it make either. sense in your mind? I already answered it. Joe, what? would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more games, or yeah. or games, unlimited games, no games? But see, when he says it like that, doesn't that, it not make sense? No, it, it make it makes sense, but it's um. Okay, then it's kind take of back falling what you into said. the confu- Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Back. All right, I'll give it. Thank I'll you. give it to you. It makes sense. Joe, I took a different I've got a path question for time. you. Yeah. Because I don't. I'm unsure if we asked. Did Did I ask you what part of the truffle sandwich you were last time? Do you recall that? I because- I think you I think you did, but I gave an answer <laughs> that I believe you didn't like. Mm. Uh, no, I. Th- you know, I, I did I scroll liked. through. I did scroll through the uh, making the <laughs> chuckle sandwich, uh, and I didn't see uh, the old Bart man's fucking answer on that Ooh. one. Well, I th- we I would tell one? you what you did last time, but I think that Tucker made a list and then proceeded to delete the list. I believe I said sand. Yeah, and we put sand on it. Oh, we did. We did. Yeah. Someone didn't actually watch the video. Oh, right. Yeah, you did say sand, didn't you? It's the sand that's like getting into the sandwich. Yeah, no, we put that. Tucker actually himself went outside, got sand. It was actually a little bit more effort than just going to the grocery store. We had to get bespoke sand to do that. And here you are coming onto our podcast right now, essentially saying that we're a bunch of frauds. And then also Shit. admitting that you did not give us your full retention on that episode of the uh of the I podcast. do seem to remember us putting sand. Now all right. with all, all, right, this all right, I haven't mind. finished the video. I haven't finished the video. <laughs> oh, that's Admittedly. Just what, watch it. Just if watch you'd like it, to add I'll another ingredient the to the uh the chuckle sandwich, what would you add? I get another ingredient, I get two. Yeah, I'll let you add another ingredient. Yeah, for the next for the next time we do it. Yeah, the next know, time we'll we just, do it where we the next Hundred episodes. Yeah, we'll we'll just yeah. You know what? Since you're our fr- you're our first guest since the hundredth episode, so um, I'd say that you're making a new sandwich. We'll make a new sandwich with you know we've got our, so our main ingredients. Our main, yeah, you get first round pick, first draft round pick. Uh, Joe Bartolozzi. What are you doing? What are you, you're you're like diving into the fucking to the fucking mainframe right egg. now. A century egg. A century egg. A century oh, egg? Motherfucker. I'm done. I'm done, Ted. I'm I'm actually just scooting away now. Bye. A cent do you know what a century egg uh, is? It's like a egg that's like a century old. Well, they put it in a liquid to age rapidly age the egg. Um and so they call it a century egg because it's feels as if it's it's aged a century. Do people eat that? Yes. Is it like gross? Yeah. Ted, we don't we don't want to do this, okay? Maybe we retire this question. This is not a smart path to, to go down. Oh, oh Joe, egg or, this looks or, really weird. Joe, this egg looks really strange. I'm I'm telling you right now, we don't want oh, to do okay, this. Okay, I'll give you the pick: a balut egg or a century egg. What the fuck is a balut egg? It has a dead. Uh, uh, I believe a chicken fetus in, oh, inside of it. Why are you doing this? That's fucked up. 
Joe, we, I, we, I we had you on our show. We, we showed you such care and joy, and now you're doing this to us. Joe, why would you do that? To make it interesting, you know? What am I going to say? I would oh, probably choose the century ham. egg. The century egg doesn't look that bad. The, the, century, egg, the century egg's also going to be fairly easy to get. The the balut egg you might have to uh, source like, that. Yeah, it sounds like I gotta travel to fucking Century like, egg. Slovakia you could probably order that. it online. They look pretty foul though. They don't really look like eggs. Yeah. Um. We shouldn't. We should have retired this. We should have stopped after a hundred, Ted. We should have stopped after a hundred. Because now I mean, our I'm audience re- is never gonna let us fucking about it. Doesn't sound have like to it's eat that a fucking century egg. Well, just a slice. Holy you just you'd have to just slice wow. it up and then put it on the century sand. eggs were were made around six hundred years ago during the Ming Dynasty in China. You've never heard um, of them? You could uh, you could Google some videos of people eating them. They're no, very fascinating. No, I think no. that yeah. All right, a century egg is going on the chuckle sandwich, part two. Um, motherfucker, motherfucker, it's going on there. Hey, Schlatt, think about it this way: we yeah. put it to the towards the center of the sandwich. We you're not gonna taste bite. it. You're not even gonna. Yeah, you're not. Oh no, it. you can't. No, that's cheap. I didn't oh, say you, anything, Joe. You, that was between me and Schlatt. Whatever you heard you, there was not for you your put ears. It in the, if you put it in the center of the sandwich and then don't even get a, you, it, I, <laughs> ideally in the chuckle sandwich you would get a one one fraction layer, of each, full layer of each. Yeah, of each d- thing. Ted, this is fucked. This is fucked, bro. You know? Thin layer. Person comes after me about the vegetables. I was trying to help you with the vegetables. He, I he, don't. Did I ask for help? No. Did I? Good. That's what I seem to remember too. Well, Joe, it's been a pleasure. It's been a, it's so been great, great to time. have you, man. It's been a pleasure I mean, you having were, you on Chocolate yeah. Sandwich. You're one of our favorite guests. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Where, yeah. Where can people find you? Uh, literally just Joe Bartolozzi on socials. I mean, I have a Joe Bart Games account on YouTube. Uh, Joe Bartolozzi, Joe Bartolozzi on TikTok. Literally just my name. Look up Joe Bart. Should come up. Most nice. people don't know how to spell my last name. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of Chocolate Sandwich with Joe Bartolozzi. It was a great time. See you around, Joe. Bye, everybody. <laughs>